Hi, I'm Rachel with LandElevated.com. Welcome to the property overview video for PID 4280. This is one of our beautiful mountain paradise properties. It's uh, just over two acres, 2.211 acres um, in Fort Garland, Colorado. So let's start out. Um, I'm going to show you a few pictures of the property. So you can see this is an actual property photo. Um, you can see you have some nice evergreens, got an aspen right here close to the road and a view peeking off in the distance there. Um, this photo is just showing the GPS coordinates for all four corners of the property. Um, so if you put these GPS coordinates into Google Maps, it will take you directly to the property. Um, here you can see the perimeter of the property in feet to give you a better idea about the size of the property as well. And then I'll continue to scroll through. So this property is actually in a Forbes Park subdivision. Um, so you can see it has been divided into quite a few different parcels around this area. But the best part that I love about this parcel is that it backs almost up just a couple parcels down from this uh, open space here and you even have a beautiful little mountain lake um, looks like another little creek um, not too far away as well here um, you can see these yellow these are going to be the roads for the subdivision um, and this is the road this will be your access road here it is a dirt road but the roads are pretty well maintained in this in this area so it should be no problem there with access. Um, here is the location of the property. It is down in the southern part of Colorado. Um, closest big town is going to be Alamosa. Um, it's a little over an hour drive um, and it has just under 10,000 people living in Alamosa there. Um, and then here we're back to the property photos. Um, here's a road that goes through the subdivision. So this is an actual property photo of the road um, right there in Forbes Park. So you can see it is a nice paved road access. Lots of evergreens in this part of the park. Um, you can see it is pretty rural. So there is not going to be access to city utilities here. Um, if you're looking to develop this parcel, you would need to drill a well as well as install a septic system. Um, there's also not an electrical grid out this far, so you could either extend the grid or you could uh, always go the solar route if you wanted to do the off-grid option. So you can see lots of trees. You have one neighbor um, a little bit farther down the same road, but not too much development in this area. So if you're looking for a place um, to just have a peaceful mountain getaway with lots of privacy, this could be a great spot for you. So I'm going to jump over here to Google Maps and um, show you a little bit more about what is happening in this part of the Forbes Park. Um, so you can see here's this big green open space. You've got an amphitheater um, that is maintained by the park. I'm sure they have events um, and such during the summer there. Um, I'll continue to scroll out, zoom out a little bit so you can get a better idea. Um, so here's your mountain range. Uh, you've got Kruger Mountain, Raspberry Mountain, Harrison Peak, all um, just not far away at all. You're just really right here in the middle um, of the Colorado Rocky Mountains. Um, you can see you also have some other mountains to your north and uh, Fort Garland over to your west as well as this Highway 160 that winds up around to the north part of the, the um, subdivision here as well. So let's check it out on Google Earth. I want to give you an idea about the topography and the layout um, of this parcel and the surrounding mountains. Um, so you can see there's the dirt road access in the parcel and then here is your view. So just these beautiful mountain peaks um, there's Mount Lindsay, snow-covered in the distance. So I'm going to jump over and show you a little bit about Forbes Park. Um, so this is the subdivision, and it's also the Landowners Association in this area. Um, so 
just a little bit of information about it. You can see it is a gated community here. Um, they started developing this area in 1977 and there's about 3,300 lots um, spanning over just over 13,000 acres. Um, 8,000 of those are privately owned lots and then the rest is common land um, for residents to enjoy in this subdivision. Um, I'll show you a few photos on the website of what the properties look like in different uh, seasons. So this is a fall picture. Um, you can see there are quite a few aspens and the mountains in the distance. This is one of the alpine lakes on the property. Um, I'll jump over here to the summer pictures as well. So this is a picture of um, one of the common lands and again one of the alpine lakes with the mountains in the distance. Um, just beautiful big fields for everyone there to enjoy. It looks like there's an occasional rainbow as well as a winding dirt road coming through the property. So um, Costilla County, as you can probably imagine, is attracts a lot of people that are interested in spending time outdoors and being a part of the Rocky Mountains. Um, also has great fishing and hunting, if that's something you're interested in. So the Rio Grande River uh, winds its way through this area, and there is quite a large fly fishing community, um, as well as some trout in this river, and then lots of elk hunting as well. So it actually has one of the largest elk herds in the United States in this area. Um, this elk herd, GMU 83, has around 7,000 elk. Uh, so it could be a great option if you're looking for a place to um, do some hunting or fishing. Also, lots of great off-roading. Um, so this map shows some of the Jeep routes and ATV routes in the area. Um, so you can see just tons of options and places to explore. Um, lots of trails and dirt roads and routes to get you out and about in the mountains. Um, so the closest city and your address at this location would be in Fort Garland. Uh, it's about a 45 minute drive. And here is a picture of the main road. So you can see it is a pretty small town. Um, this is what it looks like on Google Maps. So just a few hundred people. Um, you know, a few, a few square blocks, but it does, it does have some places to buy some supplies. It has some cafes and restaurants. Um, so it, it'd be a good stopping off point. Um, however, if you're looking to do a bit more shopping or just want some more options for restaurants, um, Alamosa is going to be your biggest nearby town. Um, Alamosa has just under 10,000 people and it would be just over an hour to get to Alamosa. Um, here is the Alamosa website. So you can see it's a kind of a gateway city to a lot of these mountain peaks. Um, lots of people stop by Alamosa on their way to the Great Sand Dunes. Here's the Rio Grande River coming through. Of course, lots of outdoor recreational activities, uh, art and culture, got a railroad coming through there. Here's a few more pictures of some recreational activities, people enjoying um, the Colorado countryside in Alamosa. Um, as far as shopping goes, Alamosa does have a Walmart Supercenter, um, so that should help a lot with getting you stocked up on supplies. It also has a building supply um, store as well if you are needing some construction supplies. If you need something a little bit bigger and you just can't live without your Home Depot. There is a Home Depot um, up north. It's going to be in Pueblo, Colorado, about two hours north of the property. And then um, you do have a nice medical facility, uh, the San Luis Valley Health Center in Alamosa. Um, this is what the outside looks like. It's a nice big regional medical center, so they should be able to um, take care of any and all of your medical needs. And then as far as transportation goes, your closest major airport is going to be Denver International Airport up in Denver, which is just over four hours away. So if all of this looks interesting and this is a property that looks like something that you would be interested in 
um, learning more about, you can always go to our website, which is landelevated.com, and the property ID number is 4280. Or if you'd like to chat on the phone, I'd be happy to answer any specific questions you might have. Um, the number is 1-877-240-6921. Or you can always email me at sales at landelevated.com. Thanks for watching.